Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Mike Skirbo, Standard & Poor's Corporate Ratings Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the global technology industry. I'm joined by Bill Wetrick. Bill's a managing director and the analytical manager for the technology team based here in New York. Bill, thanks for joining. Oh, my pleasure, Mike. So 2012, a year of uh, slower growth when it comes to uh, techno IT spend. What do we expect for 13, particularly across the four major subsectors in, in technology? Well, Mike, it looks like we're going to probably have a second year of below average growth relative to the long-term trend of IT spending growth. So we were anticipating a pickup in spending in the second half of 2012 that hasn't materialized. And given the economic uh, macro outlook on a global basis, uh, we're expecting that it's likely to be another year of uh, low single-digit growth as opposed to mid-single-digit growth. Uh, looking at the four subsectors, um, for 2012, we're expecting that the semiconductor space probably came in flat to uh, down a couple of percent. Um, the industry association and other third parties are looking for mid-single digit growth in 2013. Um, we're cautiously optimistic, but think that there may be some downward revisions given the macroeconomic background. Uh, for software, we're looking for mid-single digit growth. For services, more along the lines of GDP, so long, low single digit growth. And uh, for hardware, we see decelerating growth, but some pockets of strength in things like software, tablets, and smartphones. Well, what, what, what is this, how does this position relative to ratings? What, what, what's, our, what's our expectation for ratings, given what you just talked about? Well, in 2010 and 2011, we had a very strong recovery from the downturn in 2009 and ratings were very positive, two to three times uh, upgrades to downgrades. So far for the year to date, we're about one and a half to one downgrades to upgrades. So a modest negative trend, mainly driven by uh, the Asian uh, technology credits, particularly Japanese consumer electronics. Uh, U.S. credits were actually fairly evenly balanced between upgrades and downgrades. Uh, three quarters of our outlooks are stable currently and the balance are pretty evenly mixed between positives and negatives. So we're looking for another year in 2013 of fairly balanced rating activity. Well, one last quick question, Bill. Liquidity and the maturity profile in this sector, what does it look like near an intermediate term? Well, liquidity is probably the highest in the technology group of any industry sector. Um, that being said, liquidity is very highly concentrated amongst the top 15 largest technology rated companies, uh, companies like Cisco and Microsoft. Um, and in 2012, there was an increase in liquidity relative to 2011. Uh, we think that that's a factor of uh, uh, economic uncertainty as well as the uh, tax cost of repatriating the cash. Um, in terms of maturities, I think the near term we see the maturity profile of the industry being pretty solid. Um, the first significant maturity wall is 2014, and I think like many other industries, the technology companies have been uh, very able to capitalize on the favorable uh, capital market situation in the last two years. There's been a lot of amend and extends and a lot of refinancing, and they've been able to push that maturity wall out as well as to smooth it out somewhat. So I think overall the near term is a very manageable situation. That's great. Bill, appreciate you joining. Okay, thanks, Mike. We'll see you again next time.